Hello, Alien St. Hilaire here, and in this video we're going to take a look at requesting new features, asking for help, or filing an issue against Mesh Central. So Mesh Central is an open source community of a lot of different members, and the main portal for all that communication between community members is GitHub. But before we get to GitHub, I just would like to take a look at various ways you can ask for help, various ways you can get help, and how to file proper issues with Mesh Central so that other community members can um, benefit from your insights, from your suggestions, or bug reports. So what I'm gonna do is first take a look at my trusty Mesh Central server here. I have it on the left running on my local computer. And of course, I have it running right here with lots of computers connected. So let's suppose I wanna go and um, you know, wonder uh, different things, like I have questions on uh, different topics. Where do I get some help? Well, the first thing you wanna do is go to meshcentral.com. This is the main page where you can download uh, Mesh Central, where you can get the basic uh, documentation. You can click on the download page here and get information and tools that are all relevant to Mesh Central. And of course, uh, on the top left here, you have the npm install and node run. This is the two basic lines anyone needs to know in order to install Mesh Central. So you can get started here. The probably the biggest download links are the the top few here on, on the upper right. The user's guide is probably the biggest one. Uh, now it's not updated you know, all the time, but it still has all this really great information. And so you have you know, pages and pages here of documentation on how to use Mesh Central. And so that's probably your first source of information. Um, now, obviously, once you got through the documentation, another source of information is the YouTube channel. So I can go on the link on top here and open the Mesh Central YouTube channel. We have a special URI, so it's, it's youtube.com slash c slash Mesh Central, enter. That is the quick uh, URI to access the Mesh Central channel. So this can be of help. The other resource that you can access is, of course, the uh, blog site. So you can go to uh, the blog link on the top here. This is hosted by the uh, blogger.com, um, you know, basically owned by Google. And so regularly, every few weeks, there's a new blog on Mesh Central, the changes, uh, new features we added, and so on and so forth. So that is all there. You can click on one of them and it will talk about the latest videos, where the Mesh Central app is available, and so on and so forth. So all the new features are here. Now, if you want something more timely, like you wanna uh, subscribe and get information um, you know, every day on Mesh Central, the best way is to go on Twitter. So there's a Mesh Central channel on Twitter, and that, um, you know, sometimes multiple times a day, there will be new feature announcements and they will go on Twitter first. So it's always small snippets, but uh, they usually are accompanied with nice graphics and so on. So it's very convenient to take a look at that. Okay, so obviously now you've checked all these things out. Um, you still have questions or requests. What do you do? Well, one possible source is Reddit. Uh, you can go to reddit.com slash r slash mesh central and here you can ask questions or uh, talk with other community members. Uh, this is a great uh, site. I personally go there almost every day. I read and answer as many questions as I can. But one of the problems with Reddit is that they don't allow pictures inside the posts. So when you click on a uh, on a given post, you can't insert a picture inside the post easily. And so when you're helping out with Mesh Central users, often you need to be able to specify where to click or what to do. And I really like to have visual graphics to show exactly what's going on, especially if you're not an English speaker, the graphics help a lot. 
So you can go on Reddit, but obviously the best place to talk to the community is GitHub. And so I'm going to open the GitHub link here. This brings you to the Mesh Central GitHub. Now you can click on my name and see all the projects that I work on. And for example, Mesh Central, the Mesh Agent, Mesh Central Router, Mesh Central Assistant, and Mesh Central uh, Android Agent, all these projects are all really part of Mesh Central. So even though there's lots of different projects here, they're all, um, they all have a common theme. So there's 11 repositories here. Now, the most active one by far is the Mesh Central issues um, list or issues page. So what you do is you click on, um, you go on github.com slash my name st slash mesh central slash issues, or you know, just search uh, on your favorite search engine for mesh central GitHub and click on the issues page. Now, right now there's uh, 770 open issues. 1,900 issues closed. I try to resolve as many issues as possible. Um, there's plenty of other community members that participate. If you can please participate and uh, help out, that would be wonderful. So usually when people um, file new issues, the first thing I do is I sort them out. I figure out if it's a bug, um, if it's a question, if it's an enhancement. I, so I tr kind of triage them and then I try to answer as much as possible. Now, if you want to file a new issue you, or a question or even if it's just feedback, don't hesitate, click on new issue here and you write a title and you write your, um, uh, your comment or post about the issue. Now, the, uh, now GitHub is basically a repository that people can search and you, what you want to do is start by writing a title that is quite descriptive of what you want. So for example, if you have a, a specific bug that you found in a certain menu, don't write just bug or bug in this menu. That's not super helpful. Try to be as explicit as possible in the title so that somebody can understand by reading a title roughly what's going on. And then uh, write your issue here. The, the most important thing about uh, any issues is to get me to replicate the issue on my test server. So I have a test server right here that I started with. And if I can replicate the issue that you're seeing on my test server, like that's 80% of the problem uh, for me that's solved because then I can go and debug it. I can figure out what's going on and fix it. So the most important is to write a new issue in such a way that I can replicate your issue on my server. Now, you can type text here. The other thing that's super important and that's great about GitHub is you can insert images. So what you can do on Windows is you do Alt print screen on a window and it will take that, uh, screen, that window and do a screen capture onto the clipboard. And then I can open Microsoft Paint. I can paste it in here and that's great. Now, the other trick is that when you take a screenshot, sometimes people will tend to take like, here you go, this the screenshot I'm going to take, like a very large page, and then they put it inside the editor here, and you can, co you can also copy it directly and paste it straight into GitHub, and you click preview, this is what it looks like. So this is great, but of course you see all the fonts are tiny and it's a little hard to see. So this is not ideal. My favorite thing to do is to basically shrink the window as much as possible. So take this window, shrink it to, you know, to just what you need to highlight. So let's suppose I want to highlight like uh, notification settings as a problem and I want to highlight this in this menu. Well, you shrink the window as much as you can. Oops, sorry, there you go. You say Alt Print Screen. Then I'm gonna go back to MS Paint here. Don't save. And then what you can do is you can highlight uh, with a circle what you wanna highlight. You see, you do Control A for, uh, for Select All, Control C for Copy. You go into GitHub, Control V for Paste, and boom you got uh, your screenshot right into the um, into your posts. 
So what's really nice about this is obviously by shrinking the window, now all the fonts become very big, they become very legible. So it's very, very easy to see what's going on here. Um, now, obviously if you want to, you know, you can, if you're using MS Paint, the nice thing is you can crop, like I can crop just this, copy. Then when I go back to right here to delete, I can just delete the text, paste again, and there we go. We've got it with the cropped. So that's it. And then you write a title, and once you're done, you say submit. So super easy to do that. Now I'm not gonna post an issue, but at any time, you guys are free to log into GitHub, post your issues, or uh, if you can, please help other people on the, in the community. So I think that's it. Uh, the last, other, last kind of comment I wanna mention is, um, is has to do with the quality of the, um, of the issues. Please make sure that you have, you provide enough information to replicate, but also if you're using meshcentral.com or you know, if you're using your own server, please mention that. If your server is in LAN mode or WAN mode, please mention that. If you're, you know, what version of the Mesh Central software you're using, put those, those things inside the request because that helps a lot of the times figuring out what's going on. So I hope you appreciate that. Please participate in the community. I'd uh, love to hear more from you. Take care.